Well, well, well. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Guess what? What? We're at ESPN Wide World of Sports going to the Run Disney Expo to pick up my Adobe Challenge bib and meet up with some bit? friends. Just one. Or no, I get two. You get one for the five and ten and one for the half and five. Oh, yeah. Look at this glorious Florida sky. It is very sunny. So this Dopey Challenge is like themed along with the 50th anniversary. So everything is iridescent, even the medals. So James is asleep in a stroller and strollers aren't a lot in these buildings. So it's just me running in. But this is just the bid building. We'll get in there. Grab my bib, head on over. The funny part is, is that there's no solar slot in any of these buildings. So James is asleep, which is great because he skipped his nap. And our apartment's very bright. We don't have a blacked out room like at home. So he didn't, he wasn't going down for his nap. So I'm happy he's sleeping. But that means literally it's just being Sarah and I. We're meeting up friends who you'll see later. Um, but nobody's here to like stay with James. Well, so we can both go in the building. So we'll just have to dip in, dip out. But this one's an easy building. It's just big pickup, which I think I have a special spot for the Dopey Runner. Oh yeah, here we go. Third Dopey S2 starting group. Cool. Ah, oh, 25 years of running. So yeah, this is the 25th anniversary of the half. Love it, love it, love it. Time to get my shirt, and then I'll go meet Sarah. Alrighty, hey, let's shirt show on. the shirts. Ooh, a little gradient action. Dopey challenge. Cool. No. What? They don't have the parks on the sleeves. Usually oh, they have the little logos yeah. for the, the parks. The goof. Goofy challenge. Oh my god, I'm so cool. Cool, I love my favorite part the yellow. Of shirts. Yeah, it really is. Wait, it has it on the front. Right, but like my favorite part On the, the sleeves. sleeves, yeah. That's large. Okay. Okay, Mickey and Minnie, first time ever, I think, sharing. No. No. They've shared the They've shared before. before. Cute. They're just looking at each other like, we did it. Right, this is a nice blue. All these colors are really nice. I, it might be the first time Daisy is yeah. involved, though. Yeah, both Donald and Daisy. Love that little gradient. It's the 25th anniversary for... Oh, yeah, the, the marathon. Oh, the half? Yeah. Oh, not the whole weekend? Oh. Oswald. That's the cool. This might be my favorite medal. Yeah. We'll see as the weekend. Like I like to gauge the medals. When yeah. I it we'll show the medals inside. And this is a solid one. Yeah. A little Pluto. Oh, he is running. Look at those back legs. He <laughs> does not know how to run. He, it's impossible for her to run. Like that. And does the five k go in Epcot? Yeah. Like a, there's I, no spaceship Earth on it. Well, you go on World Showcase. That's Epcot if you didn't I know. know. <laughs> but you don't. Like you literally, I don't think you touch front. No, you should. This, we should return this. Peter! <laughs> Here are the race courses, starting in the parking lot at Epcot. Oh my gosh. Going all the way around the back, the World Showcase, up in Future World, and finish in the parking lot. So the 10K start same spot, but go around this way to Hollywood Studios. Just a little corner of Hollywood Studios. It's kind of fun. And then Crescent Lake, through Epcot, Minutes. Okay, the half gets interesting. Off World Drive into Magic Kingdom. I am most excited to cheer at the TTC again and probably over at Grand Floridian. And then back of this away and finish. Oh, no, you do go. You don't go through World Showcase, just future World. And then finish. Same spot every time. And last, the marathon. 
a lot of Epcot. Start over here. Same situation, up and through Magic Kingdom. But then down this back road to Animal Kingdom. Over here, you're going by the water park, Blizzard Beach, instead of Wide World of Sports. That's cool. Then into Hollywood Studios, Crescent Lake, World Showcase, and done. I still need to plan where me and James will be spectating from. But I am just so excited to be back at the TTC. That's my favorite place to cheer. Tonight, I'll sit down and get it all planned out because, I mean, we probably won't be going to the 5K tomorrow just with like the timing, it's so, so quick. Um, but the rest. French fries, more French fries. Ooh. Pizza. Ooh. Pizza. Ah. Um, where did these two stowaways come from? Crazy. Mmm. Grilled cheese. <laughs> Some mac and cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a cheesy sandwich. Nice. I like your technique. And some tomato soup. Katrina, did you eat seven pieces of grilled cheese? Uh, no. You ate six. No. And Karen, you ate seven pieces of pizza. No. I ate like three. I just ate one. Karen and Katrina are here. You're just these two. We shipped them over to us. Are your parents or your siblings? They're in Michigan, right? They're like on a they're... bus or in a lounge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like the chocolate sculpture. <laughs> 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 they're all yes. Yummy. Here's James. Here's everybody else. Hello. We. There's Peter. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Haley. We're also trying to sneak to eat the chocolate sculpture of the castle. You're, we're never gonna do that. Oh, well. Peter said we're gonna do that. Are you ready to eat the chocolate castle? We even got a little TV in here. And then we have a nice view of the lights. I don't know if you can see it that well. So you might be able to see it. But I'm zoom in. Oh, And then it's like dolphins. Hi, James. Uh oh. Oh, look at you. Goodness. It's okay, but there's plenty more where that came from. Right, what was the best? Yeah, what was the best? Yeah. You think the cream puff was the best? Yes. Yeah. And it had karma. You're covered in chocolate. Uh huh. We'll show you the treats. Alright, you know how to do um, a trick or something? There's not really much because I have a knee. I'm a wounded soldier. Also, gonna show you. Start with this. This. All made on the chocolate. All chocolate. Yeah, just they dyed it. <laughs> okay, I don't know what Kieran captured or not, but we've been hanging out in the lounge at the Grand Floridian, and look at this, it's totally made out of chocolate. We've had all sorts of desserts. Lovely. I'm sure this won't be the last time we're here. Well, oh, the Earhearts are here. Coffee and drinks and tea. Just lovely. We showed your children in the vlog being like, look, they flew out to be with us. They are not They for sure have Indian I'm good. The kids are doing a run Disney, they say. Look at this room. We got one bathroom. Ooh. 
We've never stayed this side of Grand Flute. We've stayed a couple nights on the DVC side, but this is a top floor one bedroom? What is this called? Yeah, one bedroom. One bedroom. One bedroom suite. Look at that. That table is like my favorite thing. They've already sent us a video earlier, but this is for our vlog. Ooh, Kieran just wiped out. You good? Yeah, socks on. Oh, socks on will do that to you. Yeah. Two beds here. This, look at that chandelier. The, the vaulted ceilings are divinity. <laughs> Did I break it? No. We can't get the door open, Ben. Look at that. Only takes a doctor. Oh, look at that view. We are leaving the Grand Floridian a little bit late for the unexpected. Gorgeous. But it's fun being in a place that we haven't been before. I have already planted numerous seeds tonight in the Earhart Children that we should go swimming many times in that pool. The only thing we need is for it to heat up a little bit because it's a little chilly. It's supposed to get warm this weekend. And I think as long as we're in during the daylight, sometime hours, that will be good. But this is one of my favorite pools in all property. I love this pool, but I also have always been like wanting to go with that splash pad. But we haven't had the opportunity to, not having a little one. And now we do. Yes. And we have many little ones with them. Yes. So, that'll be fun. I just don't know what day of the week. We have so many events this weekend. Yeah. In a week. Signage is already up. It's not It's not as late as we typically would stay. Okay. So it is. <laughs> no, Kinda. it's not. It's not? It's we were, We've left their apartment. Apartment. We have left their room like after midnight. Okay, that's true. After but, one a.m. on a race weekend? <laughs> like my goal is to be in the car at 2.45. Yeah, but <laughs> you want to know what? <laughs> you know what? It it's, is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. And it we we didn't do anything. Like, we did everything we wanted to. Oh, I don't ever get nothing. Yeah. James is going to check out Dad's 5K outfit. Hi, Evers. It's so nice to be at Disney and uh, come home to you. I have to go out to the car. Why? Because my shoes are in a bag that have been in the stow and go. James is gonna let you me on. James is gonna let you on. But not tomorrow. From here. Yeah. I don't know. Are you gonna go to bed tonight? All right. Here is the official setup. So I got the long sleeve black Pluto 5K 2022 edition with my dopey challenge. So I'm using this bib tomorrow with the 5K and Friday with the 10K. Because of the blue scheme right here with the blue and black of the 5K, I'm gonna wear my Chicago shorts with my my long Nike like pants. Got my fresh mask out, got my socks, got my shoes, got my wrist band, watch or wrist phone holder and then it's a 5k so I won't bring any nutrition tomorrow. So tomorrow I will go nutritionless, but I think, because it's, it's looking like I'm gonna get like two and a half hours of sleep, barring I wake up on time, which is always the concern, you know, with us. Um, I think I'm gonna wear my new Billy Yang hat instead of a sweatband. And then, because it's supposed to be like in the low 60s or high 50s or something. So it's gonna be a chilly uh, run Disney start. It's supposed to warm up as the weekend continues. So that'll be the game plan tomorrow. Sarah and James are not coming with. I'm gonna go rock this. I think I have some friends that are gonna be there in the morning. I'll see if I see them. Of course, ACS will be at the finish line tomorrow. Might see them. Um, and then I'll have to come back and uh, work it out because got a busy Thursday, Friday for work to get ready for the week off. On, on the cruise. Very eventful weekend leading into a, a fun week. So uh, exciting, exciting times. I cannot believe it is becoming, it's the night before another dopey weekend. My third dopey, I can't believe it's here. And my first dopey with a baby here and incredibly enough, another baby on the way. I've been waiting so many years for this weekend. And even though it has not been a good training with everything that's been going on, um, I'm gonna push as best as I can and safest possibly in my best endeavors. 
Um, but to imagine finishing Dopey, finishing that, sh- that Walt Disney World marathon on Sunday with James at the finish line waiting for me with Sarah and our baby. And I almost said our baby's name, but I know Sarah and I haven't finished having a discussion about what, what we're going to tell you guys or when. It's just it makes my heart sore. It reminds me of all the reasons why after we get back to Chicago after the cruise, why the plant-based more regimented eating structure is going to be in place and the running more and the orange theory more to get ready for the big race of 2022 it's not even the dopey can you hear that baby it's not even dopey can you believe that the biggest race of the year isn't even dopey weekend it'll be squamish 50 50 50 miles 50 kilometers back to back so really tomorrow is just the start of the the next biggest and greatest running adventure in the Brookhart family, um, which is insane to think about. So a little daunting, but exciting because it's the beginning of it. I have a whole year to run a lot and to plan a lot and to hurt and push through a lot. Um, but tomorrow's just day one in this new adventure. So I'm very excited, very, very excited. I'm so glad you guys are here to follow along with us and have always been so supportive. I truly do like remember all the tweets I get pushed to my watch on my phone on my wrist during these races this weekend they always are a good help so um, as the weekend continues if you have any words of encouragement during the race times please tweet at us Instagram us I get those messages on my watch during my runs and uh, also uh, we'll put the information down below about how to track me this weekend so you're gonna be watching this when the 5k is already done but for 10 half and full you can track me we run Disney's live tracking thing anyway Very long ramble, considering I'm supposed to be asleep by now. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. 